to learn and be a doctor. Is that a doctor? No. A what? Pilot. A pilot? Yes. Okay. Jamal is going to school. He's going to learn to be a pilot. Woo! <laughs> All right. Now get inside. Okay? Oh, Dad. What? I don't want to go to school anymore. You know? Really? You're not going to school? Yeah. I have to pick Grandma at the park, okay? Get inside. But you gotta catch me first. I have to catch you first. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? I'm sorry. Really? Really? Huh? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. We gonna see about that. We gonna see about that. We okay. gonna see about that. Okay. We gonna see about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, you got me. Okay. Get inside, okay? All right. No time to play. Mm? Okay. Oh. Ah. Hey! What? Dad, aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting what? Really? Yeah, really. You play too much, you know that, right? I know. Now get in. All right, all right. Jamal is going to school. He's going to be a pilot. Jamal is going to school. Sit down. To be a pilot. Mama, feel at home, okay? What? Wow! Mama, let me... Let me take wow. it to you. Wow! <laughs> this is beautiful! Thank you, Mama. Son? <laughs> you have a nice place here. Thank you. Wow! I can see that things have turned wrong well for you and your wife. We thank God, Mama. God has been good. Son, I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> and your wife and my son? Well, Jamal is in school and my wife has traveled on official duties, but she'll be back very soon. Mama? Hmm? Mama, look, look, I'm here. Look this at me. is beautiful. Thank you. Can I now take you to your room? Okay? Wow. Let me make you something to eat. I can't wait. I can't really <laughs> wait to see my grandson. Oh. How? Oh. <laughs> left, left here. This is beautiful. Yes.
Alex. Hey. Hi. Gina, how are you? I'm great. Sorry, I'm a little um dusty. No, it's okay. <laughs> Whoa. Men are to work. You know how we do. I know. The maid left last week, so I have to, you know, take charge. Oh. Yeah. She was such a relief to you. I know, right? Mm-hmm. I'm tired of doing house chores. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Let me help. Ah, 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 <laughs> no. Come on, Gina. Ah, yeah. I don't want to mess this beautiful... Look at how you're looking. You want to help me? No, please. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Um, Lodo traveled two days ago, but I'm expecting her to be back today. Yes, yeah, she said she was going to come back yesterday and that she wouldn't be at work today. And that's why I didn't call her before coming. Oh, right. You're welcome. Thank you. Did you get for anything to drink? Kid. Come on. I'm good. You can't come to this house and not have something to drink. I am okay. No, you have to drink something. Uh, what are you saying? You're okay. Okay. I, it's okay. Are you sure you don't want me to? No, I am very sure. <laughs> oh, good afternoon, Ma. How are you doing? I'm fine. I thought I was hearing my daughter in law's voice. <laughs> no, Mother, this is Gina. She and her sister used to live on our street, and she used to visit me too. Yeah, hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! I do remember! <laughs> the two of you are always together. Yes. Then you travel together during your youth service. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow! Right. You're grown up now! Yes, Mama. Really? Yay. Where have you been? I left for the UK not long after my service, but I got back a few months ago, but I stay in Lagos. Really? Mm hmm. Wow, so happy to see you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank Whoa, you. Oh, be comfortable. Okay. Let me do something. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. All right, ma. Um, I, I think I'm going to do this. No, no. Wait for me. <laughs> okay. Let me um, get you water. Okay. I need to talk to you. Okay? We have to talk. Serious talk. Okay? Okay. Cold or room temperature? Cold. That's not healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you I have something very important to discuss with you. Hi! You have been flying from coast to coast. You can say that again. What's up? I'm so sorry I, I, I didn't call you before coming. It's okay. Hi. I'm sorry I delayed. It's okay. I missed I you. I missed you too, baby. I missed you too. I missed you. I missed you so much. What's this? Oh, um, I was actually mopping the floor when uh, Gina came. Yes. Shut your mouth. So you're not yet done with your chores and you are here gossiping? Really? <sighs> um, honey, please calm down. Calm down? Calm down, is that it? I should calm down. Calm down. You think I don't know how you go around town driving twats in the neighborhood in my car? You think I don't know? Mimi. Oh, please. Please. Get me my silvers. Fast. Okay. You're, you're asleep. You're here, Mama. You didn't call me before coming. Alex! Huh? To the bedroom. Excuse me.
What was that? What do you mean, what was that? I should be asking you what that was. Why were you talking to me like a houseboy in front of Gina and disrespecting my mother like that? Disrespect? Yes. Disrespect? Sweetheart, if you've forgotten, this is my house. I feed you, I clothe you, you drive my car, so yes, you're going to tell me when someone is going to come to my house. You're unbelievable. That is my mother we're talking about. Do I look like I care? Does it in any way look like I give a damn? Anyone aside, you, me, Jamal is a stranger and you're going to call me because it's my house. Do you understand? This should not repeat itself again. Every mother would. But please, you need to listen to Alex. Let him calm down. Uh, please, just wait for him. <laughs> Gina, I am not hot at all. He totally confirmed my fears. The day Alex brought that girl to me and said he wants to marry her. Mama? Ha? Where are you going? What is your bag doing here? I told Alex. A young man without money, without anything attached to his name, getting married to an already made woman, will not be a happy home. He refused. Did you know what he told me? He said he is a fine boy. Not them the Russians. Yes! That he is in the market. And the rich women, they look for him. Ma, please. Please. Alex, please what? Please what? Fine boy, no pimples. Fine boy in your own house, without respect from your wife. You are a fine boy. Now then they rush you. Look at yourself. A fine boy, now a house boy, inside your own house, Alex. Mama, but you don't know how much is in my account now. I can see it written all over you. It's glaring on your face. How many billions on your account? I can see it there. I don't even need to be told. <clears throat> Mama, Mama, please. Please, don't go. Please. Don't even bother yourself. I have other children that I can visit their homes and I will stay happily. Okay. Uh, Mama. I'm not comfortable in this place. Okay. Alex. I'm disappointed in you. Okay, Mama, since you want to go, let me at least drop you at Sister Teresa's place. Who's car? Is it? Who's car? Haka? Oh, you're stretching your hand as if you bought one out there. I'm asking you, who's car? I don't want to incur her. You can stay here and bear whatever you want to bear. As for me, I'm on my way. But you know what? The only thing I will do for you as a mother is to put these my two knees on the ground and I'll continue to pray for you. Tina, no. don't just bother yourself. Let me go. Okay. Fine boy, you're now a house boy. Fine boy in your own house as a house boy. I am disappointed at you. Don't keep me back. Many things are happening. Ah. This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you Better be careful The ones you trust Please watch! Fine boy, no big people. Fine boy in your, your own house. house. Without, Without respect, respect from your wife. Your wife. You, you are a fine, fine boy. boy. Now then they rush you. Look, at, Look yourself. at yourself. A fine boy, now, now a house, house, house boy. Inside, inside your, your house. house. Alex. I'm not I'm comfortable with this place. Alex. Alex. I'm, I'm just something dead in you. Alex, 
I understand exactly how you feel. No, you don't. You don't understand how I feel. How can she treat my mother like that? A woman that has suffered and toiled to help me get to where I am today, and she treats her like that? Do you know what that means? I have disappointed my mother. This emotional indulgence shouldn't make you weaker. Rather, stronger. You should be thinking of the next step to take. Okay, just relax. Just relax. Okay? And what is this emotional display going on here? Are you apologizing to him? For what? Listen now, Audrey. Please. I would want you to stay away from my husband. He's my husband. Mimi, this, this is too much. See the way you spoke to the mother? Come on, girl. It's too much. Sweetheart, money is hard to make. So I'm going to talk to him anyhow I want. Whose side are you on? and reclaims his late father's kingdom. And that is the end of the story. Ooh. Interesting. Is that all you're going to say about the story? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> wow, interesting. No, no, no. <laughs> all right, fine. It's good to be strong and brave mm -hmm. so that one can protect his family. That's true. And it's also good to be brave. I'm so strong. Like the prince. <laughs> you are strong like the prince. Oh, really? But you have to be as strong as me because I am stronger than the prince. Okay, you will beat the prince. I will beat everybody. <laughs> are you sure? Remember, Autobots don't play. But Decepticons. Oh, really? Destroys. <laughs> I'm Megatron. <laughs> oh, Mama. Hi, Hi, baby. Bye, Mama. <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. Dad has been telling me the most interesting story ever. Really? Yeah, really. That's okay. wonderful. Thanks. So, can you tell me yours? Not today, babe. Mommy's tired. Uh, hmm. You never have time for me. And you never take me to school. Not even bedtime story. Huh. Don't you love me? You know I love you. Just that mom has to work extra hard so that you can go to the best school and have everything you want. Dad too also works hard. And he also has time for me. Mom, don't you love me? Okay, let's do it this way. Okay. Tomorrow I'll tell you bedtime stories. All right. And I'll drive you to school. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay? Okay, promise? I promise. Bye. Okay, it's time for you to go. Taking too much time on this bed. I love you, baby. Love you, mama. Let's go, let's go. Handshake, 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 ooh, handshake. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Let's go, come here. Jump Good on night, the back. Good night, baby. Jump on the back. Oh, Easy. Prime. Get Jamal. Transformers. Yes, sir. Yeah.
of course, that's what I'm saying. You don't expect me to allow his mom to stay and see the way I lived with her son. That was your advice, right? I know. I know I messed things up by the way I reacted on seeing her. But the deed is done. Or do you think it's going to change Alice's attitude towards me? It might. Depends on the way you handle it. Girl, don't feel remorseful. Show him that you are right and stand by your action. After all, <laughs> he didn't announce his mother's visitation. Okay. But honestly, I really feel bad because my mother-in-law is such a nice person. Oh, please don't start getting emotional now. This is the best way to treat these men that think they are handsome and give to women. If you don't treat them like this, they will dump you and go for another woman. Placate him by giving him some money, okay? But, but, listen, make sure it is not much. Just enough to get few clothes. Otherwise, <laughs> he will use it to go and chase those little girls that you continually warn him about. You need to checkmate this man. What is it? Very lazy man. Lazy man. Okay. You know I always listen to you, right? <laughs> Girl, I'll talk to you later. Your wife called me last night and apologized the way she spoke to me. Boy, you're lucky she apologized to you. Who's going to apologize to my mother? After displaying that attitude, who will apologize to her? The deed has been done. This goes to show you that she knows exactly what she's doing. But tell me, Alex, how did this whole thing start? I mean, how did we get here? It all started after the birth of Jamal. Mildred was a very sweet human being. <sighs> But the warmth and laughter just died. It, it was like magic. I thought it was a strain from a job and the house chores. That was the reason why I even stopped looking for a job so I can help with the house chores. But she turned me into a houseboy. Hmm? But what can I do? Because of my son, I, I had to do it. You know, <laughs> she took your love and, and your care for granted. And it's so sad to hear it. You should have warned me about her. I should have warned you about her? Look at who is talking. The minute you saw both of us, I mean, you just flipped. Like you were begging me to link you both. What did you, what would you have me do? In, my, in fact, you said you wanted a rich woman, just like your mother said. So why are you complaining? It's not about the money. It's then what is it about? I just wanted... To, to have someone to start a family life with. Someone to support me. Do you know she stopped me? She discouraged me from looking for a job. Hmm. Huh. Yes. Why? I, 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 I don't even know why I stopped looking. But I should have just pursued my career. Exactly. Now that is a good headway. That is a good start. Pursue your career. Get your own money. Regain your dignity. That's the... It's a good way to start. You need to take back what rightfully belongs to you. Pursue your career. You know how this country is. Everywhere is tight. Where do I start? Hmm. Huh? I just... I just wish I could just go away for a while, but... My son needs me. How do I start? Where do I start from? Calm down. Don't worry. I'll speak to my friends. Maybe one or two of them. I'll see if they have a gig. If they can look for something for you to do. Wait, you... You do this for me? Why wouldn't I? You're my friend. Oh my God, I'll be so grateful. Come on. Look, are you, are you serious? I'm serious. I'll just speak to one or two of my friends. You know, I have big friends. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Wow. It's fine. Just be positive and pray about it. I will be indebted to you. I will pray. I will fast. Mm -hmm. I See, will fight. I will, I will cast. I will. It's okay. You still have your sense of humor. Oh my days. Okay, um, should I drop you off? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Right. 
Are you are you yeah. okay? Yeah. Okay. Just be my chauffeur for the night. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> no Many things are happening. <laughs> This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you Better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening This world is deeper than you know Behind the smiling face lies this that you don't know. You better be careful. What's going on? Are you traveling? Yes, to Abuja. The company's chairman actually asked me to meet with some business partners. And if I don't meet them, that means I'm going to Japan. I have to grab the opportunity with two hands. Uh, honey, please, I, I want to discuss something with you. That's fine, but it has to wait because my flight is in 40 minutes time. I don't know how crazy the traffic is out there. I said it has to wait. Wait. Is it money you want? There's a check on the bed for you. Excuse me. Kiss my baby boy for me. Come close the door. Hello? Hello? Yeah, will you be available for an appointment in an hour time? Yes, sure. Okay, you'll be meeting someone at 10.30. C Complex by DBS Road. Okay? All right, I'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, um, I'll be there. No problem. All right. Gina, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you for all the things you're doing for me. I mean, look at the package. <laughs> a house and a car. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this is crazy. Yeah. It's your previous marketing experience that did it for you. And besides, you're, you're supposed to do a one-week training before resuming work. How, how would you do that? Uh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I I still don't know how to thank you. Mm -mm. You shouldn't have to thank me. There's enough time for you to thank me. And the thing is, I actually feel terrible seeing Mildred treat you this way. And to think that I introduced the both of you. Come on, I, since I came back from the UK, I, I really, I'm not happy about the, but this whole thing. I'm not just happy about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, okay. it's fine. But now, um, I mean, we have something going. So mm -hmm. yeah, let's, let's go. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, have you eaten? Let me buy you lunch. I should buy you lunch. No, let me buy you lunch. I want For doing this for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yes. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? Ma, my name is Bibi. I'm your new house help. Oga brought me from the agency three days ago, ma. Hmm. House help from the agency. Yes, ma. I see. Bring this inside. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. My husband leaves the house every morning and comes back late at night. Yes, ma'am. Where is my son? Ma is in school. I'll soon go bring him back, ma'am. We can go. Okay, ma'am. Ma, your bag, should I? Okay, ma'am. I just got home now and after I left you. I met a girl in my house who said Alex employed her three days ago from an agency. Can you imagine? He actually hired someone in my house without my permission. That's not all. She said he's barely home. He leaves the house very early in the morning and comes home late at night. Tell me, what should I do? You sound agitated. Calm down and have a discussion with him when he comes back. Okay. Calm down. I'll do just like you said. Okay. True with the kitchen. And my son? Yes, let's go to bed. Okay. Hey ma, what of a girl? I mean he may want to eat when he comes back. If he needs you when he comes back, he will call you. Go to bed. Okay, ma, good night, ma. Where the hell are you coming from? I went out. To where? Am I supposed to ask permission before I go out? Alright. There's a girl in there. In my house. Who said you employed her from an agency? Why didn't you tell me about it? You were not around when a need came up. And you couldn't call me? Call you for what? 
to ask permission that we need a house help in this house? Listen, I had a very tiring day. Excuse me. Where are you going? Good morning. The question is, where are you going to? <sighs> I was actually expecting you to drop the list of things to get for the house. You've done that, right? I am going to town to do one or two things, and it might take the whole day. As for the list, since you're home, you can do it yourself. Alex. If you don't mind, I really want you to tell me the hell you've been up to. Yes, I will. But right now, I have to go. See you. Alex just stepped out. All effort to get what he's been up to prove the abortive. I think he's up to something, I'm sure. What do you think I should do? Calm down. When he comes back, make sure you get him to tell you what he is up to. Coming. Good morning, ma. Yes, me, but what do you want? Ma, Oga has taken Junior to school. So, what would you like me to prepare for you this morning? Just give me a glass of juice. Okay, ma. Um, Bimbo. Yes, ma. Do you by any chance know where your boss goes every morning? Um, or maybe you've heard him talk on phone with somebody? No, ma. I only heard him talk to someone and he was like, Sorry, I'll be there soon. Don't be offended. Take care, dear. Yes, ma. That's all. A woman? Ma, I don't know. Leave.
I got it. Oh my god. I got it, baby. Wow. Yes. In a few months, my house and my car is going to be ready. Yes. I can't believe it. Yes, yes. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Wow. Oh, congratulations. I, I, I can't believe this. We're in the office. Yeah. Oh, you have to coordinate yourself. Congratulations. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome, ma. Where is my son? He is in the room. My husband is back, right? No, ma. He's not back yet. Sorry, when you called last night, I was I was deep asleep. Sorry. What's up? Listen, Gina, I think Alex is up to something. Yes? Why? He didn't come home last night. Coupled to his numerous behaviors. That is totally unacceptable. I mean, what? But hold on. Before we judge, are you sure he is okay? I called him last night. It said his phone was switched off. I tried again this morning. He picked up and casually said I shouldn't worry about him. Can you imagine such impudence? <laughs> My dear, if I were you, hmm, I will make sure I deal with him. I will remind him that I'm the one feeding him, clothing him, housing him. In fact, I will kick him out. When he starves for days, then he will come back begging, pleading. He will be on his knees. And then I will give him my new condition. And that is exactly what you're going to do. You're right. Yes, now. I'm always right. I am always right. I think I need to remind him where he's coming from. The goddess. All right, don't worry. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'll do as you said and get back to you. Hmm? Okay? I will. All right. All right. I am so hungry. <laughs> right now, I just want to have you for breakfast. <laughs> okay, before you have me for breakfast, why don't you come have your breakfast? <laughs> well, look at my breakfast right here. No, your breakfast is here. Mm -mm, it's it's here! Mine. <laughs> Not everybody was your trust. 
Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Hey. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Are you ready friend. to talk to me now? About what? You being sneaky. Sleeping out and coming home late at night. Sneaky? That hardly defines my attitude. But as for coming home late, I have some things I'm sorting out. Like? I'll tell you when the time comes. No, no. You're not going to do that, Alex. You are going to tell me right now where the hell you're coming from. Like I said, I will tell you when the time comes. And besides, I have a meeting in 20 minutes. You're not going anywhere if you don't tell me where you're coming from. I mean, I feed you, clothe you, you drive around in my car, so yes, you're going to tell me where you're coming from. <laughs> wow. So, it's all about your investment. Your money, your cars. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Young man, you think I don't know it's because of the coins that you married me in the first place? I know. Do I look like a fool to you? I'm no fool. I have waited eight years to tell you. I am not a fool, Alex. So yes, you're going to go by my rules. It's either my way or you're out. I got the shots here. You know, I am very happy you have defined the basis of our marriage. And how much of your money is in my account today? Yes, you're talking about money, right? What do I have to show after eight years? I thought as much. If you will excuse me, I have somewhere to be. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserve your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some people are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Many things are happening. This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you Better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you You better be careful The ones you trust Not everybody worth your trust not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some people are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Many things are happening. This world is deeper than you know. Behind a smiling face. Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you Better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face 
face lies this that you don't know you better be careful the ones you bring close to you you better be careful the ones you trust not everybody worth your trust not everyone deserve your friendship not all that glitters are gold some people are better apart so better be careful the ones you trust many things are happening this world is deeper than you know behind a smiling face lies this that you don't know you better be careful the ones you bring close to you better be careful the ones you trust many things are happening this world is deeper than you know behind the smiling face lies this that you don't know you better be careful the ones you bring close to you you better be careful the ones you trust not everybody worth your trust not everyone deserve your friendship not all the glitters are gold some people are better apart so better be careful the ones you trust you know your comfort makes me forget my home I have to get going. No. You want to go back to a woman who treats you like scum? You wouldn't do that. intentionally left the door open so there's nothing to hide. Really? Uh-huh. Really? Alex, did this comforter of yours tell you that the very day she introduced you to me, she told me that you were after my money and you did not love me? Did she tell you? Did she tell you she called me every single day, teaching me literally ways to make you sweat for every single meal you eat in my house? Did she tell you? Did she ever mention why she left for UK? It was because I got pregnant. I started to love you. She said women like me encourage gold diggers like you. She called me every blessed day. She literally lived in the house with us. She said you were having an affair. She asked me to kick you out. Did she tell you? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I did. We were sleeping with each other. He knew that I loved him. Boom! You came back. And then he went crazy. <laughs> he looked me in the face and told me 
that he wants a woman who is independent. Obviously, you, you have your businesses on the side. You are rich, you have everything going for you. So he wanted you. Hmm? I did not mean any of those things. I was just saying it. You and I were like brother and sister. <laughs> Yes, once in a while we have sex. But you were seeing other men and I fell in love with her. Oh, please save me that rubbish. That nonsense. No, tell me. How did you think that made me feel? Yes, how did you think it made me feel? Do you think I'm a stick? Am I made of stick? Huh? You begged me that I should hook you both together. I was pained. I was crazy. I went nuts. But I did, regardless. And then this fool got pregnant. And then you got married to her. What would you have me do? I didn't have anything to do. I had to go back to the UK. Now you tell me, madam, didn't you vow that you were going to make his life unbearable? Didn't you? Hmm? Poisoned my mind. Oh, I poisoned your mind! Uh, we agreed to it that you were going to make his life unbearable. But you overdid it! You so do! Look at what you did to his mother! Olga, Olga, you wicked! How dare you! Are you mad? You! How dare you! years of your life with a woman that never sees your heart but believes in stories. I wasted my love and life on her and you. I thought you were like a sister and one that would always vouch for me. But you turn around and poison the water I drank. <sighs> How did you think? How did you think I would feel? You abandoned me for her because I didn't have money. You. I loved you, but you didn't see it. I, I had to date other men just to console myself. If she truly loved you, why did, she, why did she see you for your good heart? Why did she have to just accept or believe anything that she hears of you? Why was she easily deceived? I was pained. I saw the way you were slaving around her. And the way she treated your mother. No. I wanted to rescue you. She went too far. I, I had to beg people so that you can get a good job because I wanted to rescue you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, don't leave me, please. Please, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Thank God you are awake. How are you? Dose of sleeping pills. Why? Is this such a serious issue that you could not confide in us? Your father was my husband's best friend. He was the one that encouraged him to relocate to Nigeria and set up this hospital. What is the problem? I'm sorry, Auntie, I couldn't talk to you. The whole experience was so heartbreaking for me. It's okay. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Life is precious. God himself gave us life. Therefore, we don't have any reason whatsoever to terminate the life given unto us by God. You are blessed. So blessed. I don't know why you want to commit suicide. Has I been blessed to have a lovely family? I don't have a good family. My husband stabbed me in my back. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Don't talk like that. If your mother or father were alive today, would they have condoned divorce or separation? My husband is like a father to you. He said things will be sorted out. Don't jump to conclusions. Mildred, we know you are hot. I mean it when I say I don't want to have anything to do with him again. Please, if you don't mind, can I go home to my son? Your son is alright. As soon as I brought you to the hospital, I took them to my house. Honey. Yes, my love. She's there. I will take her home. I'll be back soon. It's okay. Yes, ma'am. Mildred, I would like to have a word with you later. Take care of yourself. Let's go. I'll be back
you cheating on me? Thank you, Jesus. How dare you walk into my house? How dare you walk into my house? You know not to try me. Me, George, stop. What are you doing in my house? I am leaving your house. Okay. Fine. But you're not leaving this house with a pin. Yes. You came penniless and you're going to leave sane. I said you're not going anywhere. Midrest, stop. Did you stop? Don't push me. Go back in there and drop everything that's on you. Including this shirt you're wearing. Go back. Stop this. I said go back! Go. Stop it! What is wrong with you? Leave this. You mean Mildred, a woman who claims she loved you so much, did this to you? This is this is absolute wickedness. Maybe, you see what I have been telling you. Thank God God has rescued you. You don't, you don't need her. If she wasn't the mother of my son, I would have beaten her to a pulp. I only regret wasting eight years, eight good years of my life with that woman. Put our past behind us and look forward to a new life. The future has a lot for us. I have all that we need. And I am glad I got you a good job that you can fall back to. Forget about Mildred. So you can tell me how sorry you are. <laughs> the truth is that you made a huge mistake by listening and trusting another woman's advice on how to leave your man to What experience does she have? Has she ever been married? I just realized my mistake. I mean, I really thought she was my childhood friend. My friend!
think about yourself and yourself. You have every reason to be happy. It is your right to be happy. Thank you so much, Auntie. I should be going back to the hospital now. Okay. Ah, one more thing. My husband and I would like to see any more public shows with Alice. Am I understood? Okay, Mom. God. I understand. Give me help. Okay. It's a smile on your face. See you later, okay? I want you to help us be happy. Have a good day. Finish fixing it? 
Oh, please make it fast. Please make it fast. I need it now. Now. I'm late. of good life. Ryan! <laughs> hey. This is you. <laughs> Ryan Whoa. for the girls. No, no, no. That was before. Oh, Not please. <laughs> Come on. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I actually live here. I oh. have an appointment to catch up with, but I'm waiting for my car. No, no. It's fine. I can take you. Oh, okay. No Get into the car. Midray. Ryan! <laughs> Midray. Ryan! Ryan! You have a lot a while, of man. catching up to do. I swear <laughs> out. I swear out. <laughs> Get in. Oh, my goodness. Like, it's been a while. Midred of good life. Brian. He said that again. Wow. You've been in town? Yeah. For how long? This is where I live, of course. Man, how come I've never bumped into you? Like, I always cross here all the time. Um, sometimes I'm out of town. But for now. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. So, so, so what about your cousin? Boyfriend. <laughs> he was never my boyfriend, but he was trying to play a fast one on me. But when I said no, we kind of drifted apart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan for the girls. Made of good life. <laughs> so, um, like, um, I used to scold my cousin about you. Yes, because I like you so much. Mm. <laughs> you never showed it though. Uh, come on. I mean, you had every girl on campus around you, so. No, 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 no. no. It wasn't like that. So. Um, you know, are you married? <laughs> I guess. But not anymore. I have a son though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A cute one. <laughs> Good to see you anyway. Good to see you, Brian. You're saying you've changed, but I don't believe you. You. Oh. I'm not. Man. Okay, fine, you win. <laughs> stop! Look at him, just stop it! Whoa! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Really? Oh, yeah, really? really? Oh, yeah, really? Really? Real, oh, stop! <laughs> Shit! Oh, stop now! Stop now! Stop! Hey! Ooh. <laughs> 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 Jeez. You know, you brought the sunshine in my life. I don't remember the last time I was this happy. Aww. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you also came back into my life. But promise me you will never leave me. I promise. But where will I go if I leave you? <laughs> then let's get married. Tomorrow. You know, it'll take two months for them to finish my case. Uh -huh. So, when it's done, we can pick it up from there. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserve your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are <laughs> Good gracious, I've not had such fun in a long time. Me too. <laughs> so
Sorry, sorry, I slept off. Why are you sleeping on the couch? I'm sorry, I slept off. Where's my son? He has slept. Me. Go to bed. Okay. Acting like you don't have a room. Sorry. Please sit. Sit. Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Madrid, I love you. I've always loved you. And I'm happy we're together now. I'm beginning to love you too. Thank you for being the shoulder I could lean on. Thank you for always being there for me and filling the gap. Later. What is it? I wanted to tell you that Gino was feeling feverish, so I gave him some medicine. Okay, go, I'm coming. Okay, mom. Baby. Let's have this discussion some other time, okay? I need to attend to my son. It's okay. I'll give you a call to know how he's doing. I think I have to go now. Thank you. You're welcome. I should be going now. I'll see you. I'll give you a call. No, don't worry. Come and sit. I'll just stand here, sir. I insist. Sit. Thank you, sir. I want to thank both of you for responding to this invitation. I am sorry this meeting is supposed to be in your house, but because I have some emergency here, I need to have an eye on them. More reason I ask you people to come to this place so we can have this meeting. I called for this meeting because of both of you. Um, doctor, with all due respect, if I knew she was going to be here, I wouldn't have come. Same here. Same. That is because both of you are stupid. Very stupid. Eight years of marriage. And you people want to throw it into the bin. Because of little misunderstanding. What is the problem with both of you? Do you want me to tell both of you the kind of misunderstandings I've had with my wife in our 20 years of marriage, yet we are still intact? Just a little misunderstanding. And you people want to go your separate way. Listen, we have to resolve it now. 
So talk to me. What is the problem? Um, sir, I really appreciate everything you're doing. I mean, taking me like your son. Yes, I married this lady here. But I am not going to be with a woman whom after eight years does not value what she has. But rather choose to believe gossip. That is because she didn't marry me for love. You wanted my money. You know, another funny thing why I can't be with this lady is because I'm getting married next month. Yes. Dr. Juicy, do you see the height of irresponsibility? You are the irresponsible one here. Moving around town with the gigolo, even in front of our son. Oh, yes. Telling me I'm irresponsible. Yes. What is good for you is also good for me. Alex, I hate you with the last drop of my blood. Seeing you makes me itch. Mm. My whole body is itching yes. right now. I hate you. Sir, I, I have to leave. I'm, I'm so sorry. Alex. Alex. What did the doctor say? He tried to make peace between us. Can you imagine? Peace? Yes. What for? I don't know, saying that we we're about to throw eight years of marriage away. Thank you, sir. Come here now, are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, <laughs> baby. Uh, <laughs> Alex! Alex! Wait, Brian! Whoa, Alex! Brian. Oh my goodness! Alex! Brian! Alex! <laughs> what is that? I want to see you too! Alex! What are you doing here? Man, I actually came with my friend, you know. Um, baby, um, this is Alex. He's a good guy. He's a wonderful guy. You need to meet him. Oh, he's uh, a wonderful guy? Yeah. Of course! <laughs> this, this is my, my baby girl. Oh, yeah. Her name is Gina. Oh, nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. <laughs> you said he's a great guy. Wow, Alex, this is you! Yes, yeah, so. This is Alex the Brain Box. <laughs> <laughs> the Brain Box? Bro! Thank wow. you so much, man. Uh, babe, <laughs> you, you should say hi. You know, we're friends way back at secondary school days. <laughs> he's yeah. a great guy, I swear. Yeah, I, I mean, this guy is good! Oh. Alex! <laughs> Man, good to see you! Where are you now? Um, yeah! Great guy! What's up, man? <laughs> Where are you now? Man, uh... We need to talk. We need to talk, man. We need to cook up. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you too. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you eating, man? You look so big. <laughs> How did it go? I heard the chef from my office. It didn't work out. And I'm sad I couldn't get them to resolve their differences. Oh. so fast. Alex wants to get married to that lady next month. Alright. Since you don't want to eat beans, should I cook rice or fry plantain? Do you know? Your mom will be happy knowing that you eat this this morning. Thank you. What is it? Maya has been ready since this morning and has refused to eat anything. I is still feeling hot. Papa. What is it, baby? Talk to mommy. I want to see daddy again. Welcome, sir. What was that show at the hospital? left me behind? 
Bimbo. Yes, ma'am. Please take Jamal inside. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Papa, I'm coming, okay? Okay. Hold me. Okay, let's go. And what was that display at the hospital? I mean, I brought you to stand by me, but what did you do? The same people I wanted to show you off to, you went and literally bowed at your feet. And what are you talking about? I mean, I just met an old friend way back at secondary school days. I went to greet him and what, what is wrong in that? That was Alex. That was Alex. My ex-husband. With my childhood friend that took my husband from me, that was Alex. I expected more from you, but what did you do? You were busy introducing the same person to me. Hold on. How could I have known it's the same Alex you're talking about with the lady? I had no idea. Listen. I don't have the details of your problems with Alex. But if there's any good man with a good heart better than me, it's Alex. I mean, Alex is the reason I finished my secondary school. He's a good man. I'll say to you now and anywhere, if there's any good man, it is Alex. So that was why you were sucking up to him like that. Look. If you know what you're losing or what you have lost, you do everything possible to get him back. Your big loss is that woman's gain. I hope you get back to your right senses before it is too late. Good luck. No! No! Even if he happens to be the last man on earth, I will never take trash! You want to leave too? Go! I don't need anyone! Leave! Leave! I don't need no. you! What is it? What is it? My junior. What happened? The sickness has started again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Where is he? I see you're really working on this wedding thing. Mm -hmm. Honey, I don't want you to stress too much. Mm -mm. Just leave everything for the event planner, okay? Baby, of course I am. I'm just, you know, I just want everything to go well. Um, she requested for our guest list, so I've compiled mine. I'm waiting for you to compile yours, and then we can send them together. Okay, I'll do that when I get back. Okay, and please remember we have to see the Indian driller for our wedding ring. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I will. I love I'll you. I love you too. Take care have a of nice day. All right, you too. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserve oh. your friendship. Oh, I did not not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the I won't see that again. What did you say? I heard you. I won't see that again. Look, Jamal, you need to forget about your father. 
He's not coming back anytime soon. Jamal. 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 People, Jamal. Yes, you'll be fine. At least it's calm. By the time he wakes up, the test results will be out for us to know what the problem is. Thank you, Doctor. So tell me, what exactly happened? Bibi said he was feeling feverish again. I just asked her to give him some pain relief, that's all. How long has he been feverish? Well, it's, it's been a while. I admit I've not been taking care of him. You know, with this whole issue with his father, it's just been overwhelming for me. It's been a while, Doctor. It's, it's really been a while. And what happened? I was in the sitting room. He walked up to me looking so pale and his eyes were dull. Actually, that's the first time I noticed. Then he asked me about his father. I casually told him his father is not coming back anytime soon and he should forget about him. His eyes dilated and that's it, he fell. That's all. Mildred, you and I know that this child hardly falls sick. All these years, his father has been the one taking care of him. You as a mother, you're not there for him. And the answer, when he asked you about his father, was totally wrong. Well, let's hope he has not suffered a relapse. In the meantime, or before he wakes up, the result will be out, so that we know what the problem is. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome. I think his father should be here. And why? I mean, is that necessary? I'm here now. I'm his mom. It's not necessary for him to come here. Why? Really? <laughs> if this child wakes up, don't be surprised his father will be the first person that he will accept. Come on. You think he will not miss his father? Or he will not ask after him? Huh? I pray you will give him a favorable answer when he asks after his father. For now, I will take my leave. I will check the result. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Baby, you have to be strong for mommy. What? Is it serious? Wait, which hospital? Okay, I, I'll, I'll be there. I'm, I'm coming right away, okay? Not everybody 
worth your trust Not everyone deserves your friendship Not all the glitters are gold Some friends are better apart So better be careful the ones you trust Not everybody worth your trust not everyone deserves your friendship Not all the glitters are gold Some people are better apart So better be careful the ones you trust Many things are happening this If one... anything should happen to my son, only God knows what I will do to you! You and I know he doesn't need such nice, so keep it down. He was never sick when he was around me. If you had paid more attention to him rather than whore around with these men, he wouldn't have gotten to this condition. Maybe your sense of irresponsibility made him sick. Have you ever thought about that too? You should be ashamed of yourself. Are you serious? I should be ashamed of myself? Hey, bring it down. Are you two supposed to be quarreling beside your son's sick bed? Listen. This will never be toilet and here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, doctor. I just I, I, I can't bear to see my son in this condition. It's okay that you're here because it will do Junior a lot of good. He's been treated of malaria and other tests has been carried out. So we have to wait until the result is out. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Uncle. Please. Sure. Excuse me. Comes to fry. Okay, I need to take pictures with it. Hold oh, on, hold on. Oh my days. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. I think I need to do Snapchat. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this should come. Where is the hook? Wow. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Let me send it to him. Send him this video. Hello? Yes, did you see the video I sent? No, I didn't. I have not had time to look at the phone because I'm just leaving the hospital for my office. The hospital? Wait, hold on. Is Dr. Roland and his wife still working on bringing you and Mimi together? No, it's Junior. He's down with malaria and he wanted to see me. I'm going to the office now. When I get there, I'll look at the pictures. Oh, okay, it's okay. No problem. Just be careful, okay? Talk to you later. All right. <sighs> oh, my days. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh, 
god. Okay? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. oh. Home sweet home. Yeah. <laughs> Big boy. Home sweet home. somewhere. I'll be right back. Oh, please can I come with you? No. Hey. I'll have the time, okay? Okay. Alright, take care of the house. I'll see you. Okay. Let's go. Not everybody oh. was your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the leaders are gold. Some friends are better at So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some people are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> Why are you always like this, honestly? Don't you like it? I don't like it. I don't like it, honestly. <sighs> so tell me. What? Did you like it? Did I like what? The suit. Oh, didn't you see how I looked? Like one of the men in black. I know. Sexy, elegant, confident. Mm. So when I'm walking down that aisle, mm -hmm. waiting for you. Oh. Mm. I might even cry, you know? You cry? I do cry. Real men don't cry. Who said that? Real men don't cry. Who said that? Only a cool that thing. But really, real, real men don't cry. But I love you, so yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit emotional sure. and all that. Yeah. I want you to cry. You want me to cry? Yes. I got you. Oh.
this call. What is it? Come. What is it? Chinyo, you are sweated again. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters. Hello. Thank you. Uh, my son was brought here. His yes, name is Jamal. Please, uh, have you heard anything? If he's doing fine? I'm sure you'll be fine, sir. Okay, uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Hey! Doctor. Alice Madrid. How is my son doing? Uh, is he alright? Yeah, he's alright. Well, he's still unconscious from the drugs given to him. My husband is carrying out additional tests. Because it is not common for a child like that to faint at a slightest excuse. Do you understand? So you can go here and see him now. Okay. You're free to see him. I'll be my office. Right. Thank okay. you so much. Um, no. Just, um, I've been thinking about you and I I thought you wouldn't have eaten anything, so I brought something for you. Have you eaten? No, I, I have not. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. What is what is in here? Fried rice and chicken. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. <sighs> Poor boy. Poor boy. How is he? He's all right. I mean, he was happy to see me, but he slept off again after eating. It's okay. He's such a cute little boy. <laughs> Thank you. He looks just like his father. Really? Yeah, baby. Yeah, he looks like you. <laughs> That's her. Please, gently ask her to leave the room. Why? Please. Why? Why would she do that? She's with me. She's with you. No problem. I don't want her anywhere close to me or my son. So if she's with you, both of you can get out of the room. You must be out of your mind to say that. That is my fiancé you're talking to. Ah, it's okay. Gina, please go. It's already crowded in here. My love, it's okay. It's okay. It's likely you're going to spend the night here. Don't worry. I'll bring you a change of clothes very early in the morning. How about that? Thank you. Mm. Can I see you? Sure. <laughs> Let's go. Good night, Doctor. Good night, Doctor. Good night. Mr. Alex, what I have for both of you is not something good. But in the midst of that, there is something 
good about it because what seems impossible medically is possible by the technologies that are available to us. Um, doctor, is my son dying? Of course not. He's not going to die. That is if you do the needful on time. From the test conducted on him, we found out that he has leukemia. Leukemia? Yeah. What's that? In a layman's language, leukemia is the cancer of the blood. And this hinders the body in fighting an infection in his system. He, he's so young. This is so painful. Um, 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 doctor, can, can it be cured? Of course. That is why I am your doctor. One of the easiest ways of curing chemia is through transplant. But while we wait for transplant to be performed on him, he can actually undergo chemotherapy. This is very sad, Doctor. My son? How? The good news is that um, this is the early stage of it. And so with one or two chemotherapy that will be performed on him, it will keep him checkmated, self for a period of, uh, say, two years, when he's fully blown. All right, so at that time, we'll now do the transplant. And I want you to be guided at this point in time that the donor must be his direct sibling for easy adaptation. Um, doctor, how is that possible? I mean, he's our only child and we are separated. Ah, Mr. Alex, I, I know all that. The decision is yours. You have to do the needful. Do the needful, have an intercourse with your wife. Let her get pregnant. When the child is born, we can extract marrows from the child's bone and do the transplant. But I want you to know that this will not stop you from forging ahead with the divorce or separation. But we're talking about the life of your son here. We have to save his life. So the ball is in your court. Leukemia. I have heard of, of it before. But this idea of getting a bone marrow from a sibling is new to me. Well, same here. You heard what the doctor said. I mean, he knows what's best. I, I, I guess so. It takes time to manifest. Listen, I think this whole idea is for Junior to be assured of a sure donor. Everything is going to be fine. Okay. What I see here is a doctor's concern for a successful surgery for your son in the future. Must the donor be a sibling?
from my findings online, it must not be a sibling. But there are comparative advantages of easy adaptation of transplanted marrows in the receiver. That is if it's from a sibling. Of course, it will aid to a quicker recovery. Do not forget, finding a match and a willing donor could be issues for us. I must say, sibling is a sure way to go. Champion this fight for your son's life. Yes. The desire should be in your mind at all times. You are his mother. Why, why am I not seeing this fighting attitude in you as a mother? Why? No. You know, I, I would love to save my son's life. I mean, he's my son. Just that, to think that the only way, the only possible way to save my son is to sleep with the only man that literally makes my, 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 my skin crawl. Just, just, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Now you say why it's not good to hate. Because of him, you are ready to lose your only son, your only child. Oh, is it because of the romance you have with that man? What was his name? Brian? No, auntie. So what? You know I can do anything for my son, including sacrificing my own happiness. I, I only went into a relationship with Brian to spite Alex. I know I may not have been there for my son. But Auntie, he's my son and I will do anything to save him. Even if he makes me giving up, I will. <laughs> Are you for real? That's good. A good way to go. That's a mother spirit. So tell me, when last did you see your period? Two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Perfect. This is good. Listen, you and Alice have to meet. See, there is no wasting time. Okay? I'm going to call him right away. Sorry, I'm not with my phone. Let me go and get my phone. I'll call him. Holding the body of that woman alone is driving me crazy. Let alone having sex with her. For eight good years, I showed her nothing but love. And what did I get in return? Wickedness. I don't think I can ever forgive her. Hello? Hello, good evening, Alice. How are you? I'm fine, Doctor. How are you? I'm fine. I'm calling the respect of the issue on ground. My husband explained to you and Mildred. Yeah, so we we'll would like you both to submit because this is the right time. I suggest both of you meet tomorrow. 
I should be expecting you in the house tomorrow. No, no, no. Um, doctor, please. I don't want to go anywhere near that house unless it has to do with my son. We can get a hotel. It's fine by me. <sighs> All right, very well then. Get a hotel. I'll pass the message to Mildred. She will meet you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. All right, bye. <sighs> Mildred. Please, I want you to trust me on this. Please get in a venue, a hotel tomorrow for you to meet him. Please don't say no. <sighs> okay. How I wish I can just close my eyes and open it and all this will be over. <sighs> just relax. Just do it for Junior's sake. You know, if you do not do it, you wake up one day and you find out that Junior is, is no more. You will, you will hate yourself. You will never forgive yourself. In fact, you will, you will hate me for not pushing you, for not persuading you. Babe, listen, I want you to do it with the thoughts of Junior. And when you are done, you come back to me so we can get married. Hmm? Ah, <sighs> baby. I don't know. Well, relax. Let me give you a head massage, okay? You'll be fine. Oof. Well, it has come down to the fact that we have to do this. You're late. You were supposed to be here by noon. It's five o'clock. I have some things I had to take care of. Things that are actually more important than your son? That's it. Irresponsibility on display again. The responsibility is better than wickedness. If I'm irresponsible, it is because of your wickedness. I don't know how I managed to stay with you for eight years. What I feel for you now is disdain. Loss. That is all I have felt for you from the very first day I set my eyes on you. Yes, I knew you were after my money all this while. So I had fun treating you the way I did. I knew it was going to get to this. I can't do this. If anything happens to my son, 
I'm going to make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserve your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Not everyone deserve your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some people are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Many things are happening. This world is deeper than you know. Behind the smiling face lies this that you don't know. You better be careful the ones you bring close to you. You better be careful the ones you trust. Hello, baby. Um, are you done? No, she turned me off with a loud, big mouth. Come on, babe, you, you, you have to ignore her, okay? You have to ignore her. You know the purpose of why you're there, all right? You, you need to hurry up. It's almost 10 p.m. It's almost 10. Okay. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll see you soon. All right, see you. Just do this so I can go home. I'm ready when you're ready. I also want to go home too. Okay, then stand up. Do you do it standing? I have to be in the mood first. I don't want bruises. Then be in the mood. Be in the mood. That's it. Casually, be in the mood. If I will remind you. You... You would always grab my butt whenever I'm coming out from the bathroom. That's how I get in the mood.
you're just going to sit there. He used to whisper sweet words into my ears before anything else. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. That sounds mechanical. Say it like you mean it. You're the light in my life. You're my happiness. You're my dream. My sweetness. My everything. You're my hope. You are the love of my life. You are all these things, Mildred. What changed? This is not the right time to talk about it. Did you miss me? Every single day. Every single night. I yearned for you. I dreamed of you. I miss you more than anything. I am so sorry for everything that I did to you. But did you have to cheat on me with my friend? I'm sorry. I, you didn't come back home as promised. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Did you do it? Yeah, finally. I'm sorry, we... It took time before we had to do it. Okay. All right, come back home. Okay, out. What's that sound? Who is screaming? Mildred. Who was screaming? Okay. 
Hello? Yes, babe, um, there has been an accident. Mildred, she tripped and uh, twisted her, uh, her ankles. I had to take her to the hospital. Yes, I'm at the hospital now. So I, I, I'm gonna... Oh, sorry, baby, I'll call you back. The doctor is here. Alex? Yes, sir. Um, everything is under control right now. Um, it wasn't a serious uh, case like we thought. It's just a, a minor fracture. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. But I've taken care of that. Okay. In case you want to see her, you can go to the ward. Okay. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank you. Thank Take you very care. much. Sir. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful. The ones you trust Not everybody worth your trust Not everyone deserves your friendship Not all the glitters are gold Some people are better apart So better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you Better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening this world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Lies this that you don't know You better be careful The ones you bring close to you You better be careful The ones you trust Try and prepare some. Hey, wait. Where's Bibi? She went to see her mom. That was why Jamal had to stay with Dr. Melissa while we were at the hotel. But you know, the doctor said you can't be moving around on that leg. Let me see what I can fix for him in the kitchen, alright? Ah. What's up, King? You want some noodles? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Alright. Let's go, 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 let's go,
So better be careful The ones you trust Many things are happening This world is deeper than you know Behind a smiling face Hello baby, nice where are you? Baby, if you're still at the hospital, I can come there and come pick you up. You remember we have a meeting with the priest today? Baby, if you... I can come pick you up. I don't mind. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be waiting. I'm waiting for you. You know we need to see the priest today. Okay. Concentrate, let's play this game. Alright, I'm concentrating. Oh, sorry. I see you in the water. Oh, you rest. They don't call me. Oh, they don't call me nothing. So who's the king now? Me. No. I still remain the king. I am the king.
Hello, honey. Where are you? Can you look at the time where you are? Where are you? What are you doing? I am sorry I haven't called. I am in my house. Um, my house help is not around. In your house? Your house help? I mean, Bibi, um, she went to see her sick mother and um, Mildred cannot cope with her wound. Jamal is also around, so I decided to stay to help. What are you saying? You, you decided to stay there? What about me? Who will save me? Who will stay here with me? I mean, we, our wedding is in five days time and I have, we have a lot of things to prepare for. I, I've been sleeping on the couch since you left. Can you just come back home, please? We have a lot of things to do. I'll be with you shortly. I am so sorry. I'm waiting for you. you, you this whole thing is taking time. We didn't, we didn't talk about this whole thing like this. He hung up the phone. Locking my heart towards you. They say people don't know the value of what they have till they lose it. And I feel like I've lost you. You're a good man God gave me. And I tore it with your emotions. I am truly sorry. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's okay. And you're not losing me. I'm not going anywhere. What about your wedding to Gina? Don't worry about it. Promise me you'll be here when I wake up. Get some sleep. Okay? I need you to rest. are better apart so better be careful the ones you trust not everybody was your trust not everyone is any your friendship not all the glitters of gold some people are better apart so better be careful the ones you trust. Many things are happening. This world is deeper than you know. Behind the smiling face lies this that you don't know. You better be careful the ones you bring close to you. Better be careful. Many things are happening 
Rise and shine. Good morning. I made you tea. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, little baby just came in, so she's getting ready to go to the mall okay. to get stuff for the house. Today, I am going to be in the kitchen to make you a very delicious meal. Mm -hmm. You always made sumptuous meals for me when I was pregnant with Jamal. Even after I gave birth, you kept cooking for me. And here you are again, doing the same thing. Thank you. It's nothing. Just make sure you finish your tea. When you're done, I will bath you and get you some nice clothes. All right? Okay. Let me shower. Finish that tea. Money. There is nothing good about this morning. What is all this? Do you know I slept on the couch last night? What is going on? I'm sorry I kept you up. I thought I would come back. Okay, what? Okay, okay, okay. What was happening? It's for this to our wedding, and there's little nothing we have done. I need to have you on ground here. Listen, babe. That's not why I called. The way things are, it looks like we would have to suspend the wedding. What? What, what are you saying? What, what, what are you trying to say to me? I'm sorry, but the thing is there's so much to tidy up and I'm caught in the middle. I can't abandon Mildred and Jamal. They need me now. I, 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 I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. I need you to here. I need you to be here. Our wedding is almost here. What are you saying to me? Look, so much has happened since last night. Please understand. I have to go. I'll see you later. Hello? Hello, Alex! Alex, don't, don't do this! Oh. God, no, this cannot be happening. No, no. Alex, why are we meeting here and why are we not meeting in our house? Gina, I, I want you to listen to me. Okay? It has not been easy this past few hours. Having sex with Mildred and seeing my son, I had to rethink this whole thing. This whole wedding thing. What are you? What are, what are you? What are you? What are it's, you? it's like leaving a shadow behind, which is not possible. I can't go on with it. You can't go on with what? With a wedding. No, you can't tell me that. Alex, you can't tell me that. What about the shame? The shame I have to live with. What, what are you talking about? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry for shouting. What about, okay, you can't leave Mildred, right? What about me? What about me? What about my feelings? You told me. You told me that I bring laughter to your face and joy to your heart. What about all that? I know, but I, I can't do this. You're thinking about Mildred. What about, what about the wedding? What about everything we have paid for? What are you talking about? I will pay you back. Don't fucking tell me that! Don't, 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 don't tell me that. Okay, Gina, Alex. Can you, I... Alex, calm down now. Alex, okay. Alex, don't break my heart, please. I am not breaking your heart. 
I just can't do Alex, this. Alex, wait, just, 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 just relax, change your mind. Alex, don't do this to me. Alex. Tina, we are outside. I don't, I don't care. I don't You're care. screaming. Can you stop screaming? What's wrong with you? I don't care. You're breaking my heart. Put yourself together. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. Do you want me to lie to you? I can't lie to you. Alex, please don't do it. I, I can't do this. I have to go. Let's just talk about it, please. Please, let's just talk about it. Please, please. Please, let's talk about it. Alex, Alex. Alex, please, please. Alex, please, Alex, please. I beg. Alex. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserve your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful the ones you trust. Not everybody worth your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Talk to me. I am worried. I hope she doesn't help herself. Never, never, I will destroy you. I will destroy you, Alex. I will destroy you, Mildred. I will destroy that thing you both call a home. Uh, if I cannot have you, Alex, no one else will have you. Over my dead body, Alex, I would rather die than let you sleep off. I will destroy you. I will destroy you, Mildred. I will destroy you. Ah! 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 <laughs> She seems already gone before they rushed her to the hospital. Um, <coughs> it was exactly the time you called my husband you were coming over to share the good news of your reconciliation with your wife. That was when they rushed her to the hospital. Um, I'm sorry, we lost her. Not everybody was your trust. Not everyone deserves your friendship. Not all the glitters are gold. Some friends are better apart. So better be careful. Neither happy nor sad. All the same. The good news is that Alex and his wife are back as husband and wife. Yeah. I could see the pains in his eyes as though In everything, you give God thanks. Yeah. My happiness is that they are back together as one. Yeah. Our plans, the role we played in getting them together, worked. Yeah. You know, I told you. I told you it will work. But you never believed me. <laughs> you see. Sex is a binder 
and a veritable tool in peacemaking in every home. <laughs> Sex. The healer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, what you did for me, Dred, is what a father would do for a daughter. You deserve a reward. A reward? Mm -hmm. uh, what could that be? <clears throat> Why not when we get home? You will know what the reward is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, are you done? Should we go home now? <laughs> All right, I have to. Oh, what? A few minutes. I'm counting. All right. Zero. Oh, I have to. used him to save our marriage. Baby, I'm truly sorry for all the things that I did to you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I forgive you. And I'm also sorry for making her get the better part of me. I will never, ever make you feel alone no matter what anyone says. This love we share is true. Let's make it stay. Let's make it blissful. I realized that one should learn not to listen to bad advice and negativity. For it's one part to inner peace. Jamal? Jamal? Come here. Hey, Jam. 
you know we love you, right? I will always be there for you. Come here. Bring it in. Once you bring close to 